Yes, and so again, it's, it's similar to Mariah. It depends on you would define, that is the, the, secret, the, the secret sauce, if there is, is to define the set of factors. So at Bluegrass, we use a set of factors to define the regimes to which uh, are currently in place, such as low volatility, high volatility. We use, uh, uh, we use time series to define whether or not the trend is intact or not, whether or not reversion strategies are, are playing out. We use high, high yield versus low yield performance. Um, you know, no one can, I can't predict for you what regime is next. If I could predict the regime and a strategy that works well, then I wouldn't be standing here. But, uh, but, the, but the point is, we use it for our, for our strategies alone as a manager that allocates, defining those, that set of regimes similarly, and then running a regression against the manager to see who does well and does it. You actually will get the answer yourself as to whether the manager should have done well or not in an environment that they have previously. It'll help you identify uh, performance skew and, uh, and, and, to, and to add value to portfolio construction. Yes? Have you looked at just a mechanical rebalancing and reallocation by taking money from the highest manager to the lowest performing manager in a mechanical sort of? Well, that's your. So, again, I'm a, I, I, I'm a trader who now manages yeah. with two strategies, exactly. but that's exactly what, if, if I was an allocator and in my. The goal is this, this does well for a while, and I would love to allocate across CTAs that use low margin in, 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 in this metric. But effectively, that would be the idea. If, if, if the manager would permit, that you would increase and decrease the weighting slightly based upon the regimes itself that, that are currently present. The, the risk to that is obviously that I can't, I can't predict which regime is next. Have you looked at the numbers? Have you back tested that and looked at it? What, what kind of results? I mean, it, you get, quite simply, like I said, if you, instead of allocating 100 million to one manager, it's far more efficient to allocate, uh, or whatever the number is, to allocate 10 million across 10 managers, which display uh, reasonable performance on a top line, but in different regimes. And then just rotate. And then just rotate. Do, have you, is there a database like that? Do you have a solid I can email you some things that we've done, but again, I don't allocate across managers. We, it is a, it is, that is the process we use internally to measure our performance as the strategies are, are, are working. Um, this is more of a, this is how I would adapt. I know how we measure return per unit of risk and the things that we do, and, and as, a, as, a, as, a, as an institutional investor, this would make far more sense than a guy like me coming in and telling me that I can't, they're not gonna give me any money because I, I don't have a, we have a, a bump one sharp, but, but sharp ratio alone, is, that's insanity. Next question. All right. Jason, that would be, I'm not trying to be facetious, but wouldn't your performance be indicative of when he, when he split, as an answer to this question, wouldn't your performance be answered answer to the question because it would stay when you could identify change or not? Your risk adjuster. Our risk adjuster is heard, I would think, and uh, he's one of our larger investors here, here to answer. heckle me. But, uh, but it, it, it is probably one of the best returns for you to risk that you can get. But, uh, but that, that's not why I'm here. It's more, I, I do, I, I, I believe strongly in the process of regime recognition and, 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 uh, and as a manager to allocate across, it just makes too much sense. But most importantly, like I said, at a minimum, you'll be able to identify performance skew. It, there's, you shouldn't be able to call a manager and find out whether, why they did well or didn't. Uh, I mean, the, the environment itself, it's very easy to look back and say what the environment was. What the point of this is, well, cycles change. The, 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 whether or not there's QE over the next three years or not, I, I don't know what, what, what outside forces will drive, but I guarantee you they're not factored into some model that someone's tested uh, and they're going to run. Uh, so factoring the regimes itself, you're constantly at least abreast of what the condition is and what you should be seeing out of the portfolio. It should help you then cut risk for those managers that are not performing in a regime that they traditionally or uh, uh, more importantly, make sure that you have exposure to, to, the, to the different regimes because that, that alone should reduce your portfolio risk. All right.